to subscribe um if you haven't subscribed to our channel feel free to subscribe uh you can find us on facebook as funny you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse and just feel free to interact with us or suggest stuff and we'll be more than glad to interact with you guys or react to the video that you suggest and yeah otherwise just feel free to mention anything in the comment section below just drop a link and we'll be more than glad to react to it so today i'm going to be reacting to listen to morgan freeman attempt the uh, run in cairo in cairo so without wasting time let's get into the video i've decided to return to cairo to try and understand who god is to muslims islam believes in the same god as jews and christians but I want to know if there are differences in how they think about the divine. Historian of Islam, Ahmed Ragab, has brought me to the Al Hussein Mosque. And you can just come in here just like a Catholic church. So yeah. it's always open to prayer. Yeah. If you want to come in here and you just can. hang out with uh, yourself and Allah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just in time to hear what Muslims believe is one of the most beautiful sounds in the world, the call to prayer. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. For the faithful, the song of the Muezzin is a manifestation of God himself. So that's the end of the prayer is by saying assalamu alaikum, much like you, in, you end an encounter with anybody. And it is because the prayer is essentially a meeting with God. Like, like hey, you know, see yeah. you later, nice talking exactly. to you. <laughs> see you the next time. Prayer to Allah seems like a conversation with a person. But how do you speak to a person who has no human form? To help me understand, Ahmed has arranged a meeting with the mosque's spiritual leader, Imam Alamir Mahfouz. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Welcome. In the Christian religion, God is so manifested but there is no such thing in Islam. So who am I talking to? Do I envision anything? You cannot imagine God. Um, God is beyond imagination. Whatever you would imagine with our human minds, God would be different from it. One of the most parting and beautiful sounds in the world is the Muslim call to prayer. But what was the origin of that? Uh, it is said that uh, one of Muhammad's companions had a vision uh, while uh, he was asleep where he heard this uh, call for prayer. And then when he woke up, he went to Muhammad and told him about it. And he's made it into this ritual of using it to call for prayers every day, uh, five times every day. The Muezzin, how is he chosen? Do you hold auditions? There are auditions where they would listen to people and the one who has the best voice would be given the position. Allah You have to work on that. Okay. I get it. Mosques are designed to be filled with beautiful sounds and images that delight the senses. 
from elaborate architecture to verses of the Quran written in the finest calligraphy. Many Muslims see this beauty as a manifestation of God himself. Islam sees God in all things that are beautiful. Because God has no physical form, he can be experienced anywhere with any of the senses. But these experiences are only ever aspects of the divine. God is always more than we can imagine. Uh, what's interesting is as I am watching this, listening to what Morgan has to say, and he tries to um, the call to prayer. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I highly doubt because it's quite in the distance. But the call to prayer is actually going on as I react. To this video which is very very interesting i don't know if you guys can hear that but if you can good but otherwise very very exciting i love how it was explained that god is beyond imagination because when people think of god they've already got this certain picture that maybe media has been depicting or you just want to have a sense of how God looks like so you've created some sort of imagination but we should all know that God is beyond what we could ever um, imagine otherwise this was an interesting video and I love uh, what the quote prayer stands for reminding other people that it's now time to pray let's come together pray it doesn't even have to be let's come together it's just a reminder that now is your time to dedicate uh, some time or to have a conversation with God. Otherwise, let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.